Hello friends, welcome back to AutoIt tutorial session. In this session, we will discuss about a very useful utility tool that comes with the AutoIt. This is called the AutoIt script recorder. So script recorder has a feature to record the actions of each mouse click and this proves very useful and handy for the beginners. And you can find this uh, AutoIt script recorder in the installation folder where you will see the extras folder when you go inside the extras folder you can find the another folder recorder in which you will see recorder.exe file basically this is available up to 3.3.140 i am telling this specific version why because going to tell you right here so see this note if you have just downloaded the latest version of the auto it and you have installed that then you will not find the auto it script recorder at the given location because due to some reason the auto it team removed this uh, script recorder from the installer and uh, this is not available in the current installer for this to get this, we need to download the previous version of AutoIt. If you have downloaded the latest version, don't worry. We will uh, simply uh, visit the repository location of the AutoIt and we will uh, download the, uh, the script recorder only. And that will be used and we can use that uh, recorder with the existing installed AutoIt setup so we will see everything here i'm going to explain you the first prerequisite is if you have installed any version of auto it please leave it as it is no worries and in my case i'm using 3.3.16.0 version and i have not seen the recorder at the installed location so we will start from the step one this is the uh url for the downloading location so let me take you to the location and uh, just copy the link from the description and open the browser and paste in the address bar press enter and you will see the list of all these previous versions of autoid so our target is 3.14.0 zip this is the archive version of the auto it also you can proceed with the setup.exe as well but those who have not installed the auto it so they can proceed with the dot exe and those who have already installed any version this just simply download the archive version because we need only the script recorder from the downloaded zip file okay let me take you the place so i have just downloaded this zip file and extracted here so this is the auto it and uh, let's go inside the extras and then we have to look for record au3 record and here we have this script recorder once you click the tool window will appear this is the tool so this has a record feature on the left hand side you can see the record button is there as of now we have uh, successfully completed that completed the step one now we going to the step two and in the step two we will do some action and we will record that activity with this auto it script recorder and we will see what will happen next okay i will show you the complete demo here so this is the tool window to show you the action i am uh, planning to perform some activity with the paint so i have just opened this paint window and uh, so i will perform a uh, activity in which i will write something here on the paint and this activity will be recorded by this au3 recorder utility tool so this is the window and uh, this is the record button 
and whatever the recording will be done that will be translated into the script form and that will be present here in this editor okay this is the record button and these are the buttons once the recording is done we can simply export and save the file okay here we go now the recording is started so this is the paint and i'm going to perform a activity okay here we go i have just selected the text tool and i'm writing something here and just made a color selection just trying to type something like welcome to cool it help and please like and subscribe to learn more so i have written this simple text recorded by this au3 auto script recorder okay so i'm not uh, doing a very lengthy activity i'm stopping at this place and just click back to here to stop this recorder now the recorder is stopped and you will see the code the activity captured and that is translated into the code and the code or the script is presented to you at this place now click on the save as now we will save this script as a dot au3 extension okay click here open don't confuse when you press open that will save your script with dot au3 extension and you will get this message script saved that's all okay now going back to the notepad so we have just performed the step 3 so we have seen how to save the recorded script and now it's time to run it so guys we have two ways to run it if you have seen my previous video on the auto tutorial session in which i have described you like how to run a au3 script if you have not seen don't worry i will explain few more things here so guys basically whatever has been recorded through this recorder based on the coordinate basis x and y coordinate on the position coordinate so let me show you the au script first so here i will explain you what i am talking about so this is the au3 script which has been saved by the autoit recorder and if you have installed the any autoit script version you will get the right menu and there you will see the option to run this script and one more option you will uh, see when you first time install your autoit and this will ask you that if you want to double click then what you want to do you want to run the script or you want to just open the script with the editor okay so i have just opened the au3 script here in the editor to explain you few things you can see here the mouse click function basically mouse click function based on the uh, the position coordinate means on the screen at which place you want to click or at which place this script will click okay so first this will bring up the target window and then this will decide the x and y position what has been recorded by this auto it script recorder if you change the position at run time when you are going to run this script so your script will fail i will show you the live demo why why i am saying this because a script is based on the position coordinate means the screen is recorded okay see this i have just executed the script and you can see this work pretty well because i have not changed the position of my target window my target window is paint this time and this is placed as it is as we had placed it at the time of recording change the position if you change the size of the target window so this will not able to identify the target position or the coordinate 
which has been recorded and which the script trying to replicate at one time so everything will be messed up I'm going to show you that demo right here you can see I have just resized this paint window and I have changed the position of this now I'm going to run this script here we go I'm going to do the double click or do a right click run script you can see script running is started but you can see this is lost and not able to find or click the right place which we were expecting so everything is messed up because we have changed the target window position and the size of the window so I want to tell you here that the recording or the click event basically based on the coordinates means at the time of capturing at the time of recording this events so the coordinate has been recorded X and Y position is recorded that you are saying that your first click will go at this X and Y position and the second click will go to the X and Y position this way if you change the X and Y position everything will be messed up so there's a limitation with this auto it script recorder I hope you guys understood this thing and this was the uh, all about the auto it script recorder and guys uh, you have seen the process of installation and using the auto it script recorder in this tutorial session and if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate us and you can subscribe my channel to learn more and you guys are awesome have a very nice day thanks for watching cool IT help